Hi guys and welcome to another video from Stupid is the Norm, the channel where we demonstrate how to become a millionaire in 10 years whilst earning only minimum wage. And in this video, I want to explain to you why it is that everybody has one of these problems with money. Now, I didn't realize I had a problem with money until I reached 57. Hopefully you're a little wiser than me and you come to the conclusion a little earlier. But if you don't, here are the four problems people have with money. See if you recognize them in yourself or in other people. Now, for the sake of argument, I'm going to assume that everybody wants to be wealthy. Now, I know there are those people who say they don't want to be wealthy, but you can ask them this question. Would you choose to work every day right up until you died if there was an alternative? And the answer to that's got to be no. And the alternative is to become wealthy. So here are the problems. Here are the four reasons that most people don't become wealthy. The first reason is ignorance. You just don't know how to do it. Now, that might have been an excuse for my parents' generation, but for the generation of mine and the generation that come after me, that's not an excuse anymore because you can find out how to become wealthy. It's, the answer is just at the end of your fingertips. Go on a computer. Hell, go on chat GPT and ask it, what do I have to do to become wealthy? And it will tell you. But that ignorance is sometimes a, a reason, an excuse for not doing anything about it because in reality, who doesn't know that if you're going to spend all your money, you're never going to be wealthy? Everybody knows that. You don't have to say, I'm ignorant, I don't know how to do it. They're just dumb things you're doing that are stopping you from becoming wealthy. So ignorance really isn't an excuse. The next reason is denial. You know, they look around all their friends and their friends aren't doing anything about becoming wealthy or preparing for their retirement. So they think, well, it must be okay. I mean, at the end of the day, the government's going to look after us, right? Yeah, right. Besides which, I've got plenty of time. You know, I'm only a young person. I can, I've got decades in front of me. I don't have to make sacrifices now and, and put stuff away from my retirement. I've got loads of time in the future. Besides which, this time next year, Rodders, we can all be millionaires. We know that's not gonna happen. So that's the reason, the second reason, people are in denial, they just don't know they have a problem. Or rather, they know they have the problem, but they don't look at the problem. They don't recognize it and say, I have this problem and the solution is at my fingertips. I can do something about it, but I'm not going to do anything because nobody else is doing anything. Then we move on to the more practical issues, the overspending. Spending your money on what is for the most part a load of tat, stuff that loses value. I mean. I kind of shy away from saying this because as I look behind me, I've got a few bits here. Now look, you see these here? I have no idea even what they are. And over here, we have a pile of decorative twigs, which apparently sets the room off. Now, I didn't buy these, by the way. And I know my wife doesn't watch these videos, so I'm not gonna get wrong. But this sort of stuff just clutters up the house and you could be converted back into money and invested instead. The second practical reason people have for not becoming wealthy is that they just simply don't make enough money. They're non-discretionary bills, the bills they require to be paid just to stay alive, or gas, electricity, council tax, mortgage, rent, uh, debt repayments, there's a lot of debt in there often, where those, all those non-discretionary payments are almost the same as what they earn. And there's only one way to get around that, and that's to earn more money. That's to work harder, produce more income, whichever way you can. Now, these two practical elements I identify when I'm doing my one-to-ones for the 10% club. Those of you who have had a one-to-one, -one, you might recognize when I ask, ask the question. Uh, if you want more details on joining the 10% the club, by the way, there's a link in the description below. But I asked the question to find out whether they have one of the two practical problems. And I'll say something like, well, as a percentage of your income, what are your non-discretionary bills? Gas, electricity, that sort of thing. The things you need to pay to live. Now, there's two ways to answer this. It'll either be something like, 50%. It's about 50%, which is where I like to see it, by the way. And if it is 50% and they still have no money left at the end of the month, that means they have a spending problem because they're spending 50% on stuff that shouldn't be spent and not leaving anything left to invest. The second way they answer it is they say, oh, it's um, 75, 80, 90% around there. And if that's the case, they don't have a spending problem, they have an income problem. And that's how you can identify it yourself whether you have a spending problem or an income problem, and then you'll be able to fix the issue. Well, that's all well and good, Perry. Pointing out the problem, how about a solution here? Okay, so we had four problems. Let's find four solutions. The first problem was ignorance. Well, hopefully channels like this, and there are other channels available, not as good as this one, of course, who will help you to make those decisions, to help you, help you point out what the goals are and plan to achieve that goal, and then hold your hand all the way through so you can become wealthy. There's no excuse for being ignorant. The next one, denial. Wake the feck up. 
You're going to have to replace your income in retirement, whether you choose to retire at some stage or somebody makes you retire because you lose a job or some sort of injury or sickness and you can't work. You're going to have to replace that income. There's a train wreck coming your way. You need to do something about it. You need to avoid the train wreck. You need a goal. You need a plan. You have a spending problem? We'll use my 50-25-25 rule. 50% of your income should be for non-discretionary bills, the things you have to pay to live. 25% you can blow, do or whatever you like, with spend it frivolously, but make sure you at least save slash invest 25% of what you earn. Are you not making enough income? Well, you've just got to work harder. And that's the top and bottom of it. Nobody's going to come along and do the work for you. It's down to you. Work harder, work more hours, generate more income. That's it. Four problems, four solutions. Don't be stupid and don't be normal, guys.